Hiya folks, today we're gonna to bring to you another cheap meal. Also, it's very filling, Sharon, isn't it? I've been having this for years, and it is faggots, folks. Faggots? Brains faggots, they're not made out of brains, they're made out of pork. Not for me. Pork, veg, and a bit of mash as well. So this is them, folks, this is how they've come. They always come in a box, they've got a silver foil inside, and in here, is, it's upside down. Is it upside down? Is it? Of course it is. In here is a tray. We've let this defrost. They do come frozen, folks. You cook them in the tray, and they're only 99 pence. And let's have a little look inside it, first of all, baby. So just peeling the top off, folks. They do come in their own gravy. Now, that doesn't look much at the moment, I know. Things when they're uncooked or just, just semi-frozen never look the best at the end of the day. But there is actually six faggots in there. And uh, I find them very, very tasty. And as I say, they are pork faggots and they're a basic meat-based dish that you can basically have as a main meal, Sharon, which is what I'm gonna do today. Yeah. Now I'm gonna eat the whole lot of them, aren't I? Yeah, I don't like them. But as I say, that is 99 pence. To buy that big bag of veg frozen in Lidl costs just over a pound, Sharon, wouldn't it? Yeah. But obviously I'm not gonna be eating a whole bag of that. I've got probably a few florets there. That's cauliflower and broccoli florets. So maybe a handful out of there, so that might come in a problem. You've got a big hand, hey? isn't What? Look at that. Put your hand over that and tell me that's a big yeah, hand. That's not all for me though, is it, Sharon? Well, that one is because I'm having shepherd's pie with the kids tonight. Of course you are, but we're not here for that, baby, are we? We're here no, to cook my dinner. so this is just for him. Right, okay. Well, like, vegetables ain't going to hurt no, you anyway, folks. vegetables. Let's say that's half a bag then. Yeah. Let's say that's half a bag, which is probably 50 pence. So we've got that. We got a couple of potatoes, which, how much is a potato? Oh, I, don't, I don't know, because you can buy a bag for one pound. 20 so. pence? Yeah, fuck. 20 pence? And because we got this in stock, we're not gonna count that, folks. That's just gravy granules, everyone's got that. So anyway, let's get this thing prepared. And to do that, we're gonna be cooking these in the air fryer. We're gonna be cooking that on our little hob. The gravy will be done from the veggie juice. Of course it is. What didn't I think of that? Day. Happy days, let's get started, folks. Right, so if you're cooking conventionally, folks, in a conventional oven here, they reckon these take 55 minutes to an hour. Yeah? Yeah. So we're not going to be doing that. And they're, they're also saying there that the setting's got to be... I can't see that. I can't read that. 220? 230? I can't see what you... Oh, oven. 230. That's very, very hot, isn't it? Yeah. So on here... That's a preheated oven at yeah. 230. Well, we're not going to bother with that. So we're looking at our chart here. So 230 degrees C, we're going to drop the temperature down to 190, and they reckon an hour. We'll see how it goes. We'll put it on for 48 minutes, or 40 minutes even. But that's from frozen, so I'd say go the 40 minutes, say. 40 minutes, yeah, yeah. don't forget that is yeah. from frozen. Yeah. So yeah, it's not going to take an hour to cook. Yeah. It'll probably take 40 minutes, so we're going to put them on for 30 minutes. How about that? Yeah. So 30 minutes at 190 degrees centigrade. Yeah. And leave the, leave the paper lid on. Like you would in the oven. So we're going to use a cassori today. So we plonk that in there. In she goes. So on. Temperature up to 190 degrees. And we're going to be going up to 30 minutes. But we will be keeping an eye on it and also checking it with our temperature probe. So there you go, folks, that's that done. Yeah, and don't forget, you've got a whole selection of air fryer conversion charts it's there. A smaller one for people. Which uh, Stacey prints, the link is below. Stacey's our grand... Daughter-in-law. Our daughter-in-law, sorry. Uh, she runs a printing business, so... It's just the size difference. Yeah. That's A4, that's A5. And she's got a stainless steel looking one. She's got different... Uh, if you go on the uh, shop, you'll see all her different designs she does of these. Link and below. They will be in the link below for In the you. description of the video. Right, so Sharon's just boiled up these potatoes. She's put a dollop of uh, butter in it and just given them a good old mash. So just to richen it up a little bit, folks. Just a little drop of cream in there. There you go. And that will make a big difference to the flavor of that mash, believe me. Right, baby, so there's my veg. So Sharon is doing their other uh, dinner as well today. So you've caught us actually cooking. Uh, in real time, baby, we're actually cooking yeah. our dinner. I'm multitasking. She uses that over there now, our range cooker. She uses that as a bit of an extension to our workshop because we yeah. don't actually cook on that, as you well know, folks, those of you who have watched our videos for a while. So we'll boil this up. Do you want a lid, baby? 
Yeah, they're in down the bottom there. There you go. Yeah, always keep your lid on your veg, folks, because it uh, steams in there as well, and that uh, cooks it a lot quicker as well. So the veg is now on. They're now on, and as I said to you before, we'll know when it's cooked because we'll be checking it with our food thermometer. The link for this one is also in the description below the video, folks. And we just probed that in there, and we're looking on average about 75 degrees centigrade just to make sure they're cooked all the way through. So we'll bring you back when they're cooked. The gravy's cooked. She's already done the mashed potato, and that just means that she's gonna leave, make the gravy out of the uh, juices. juices of the uh, veg, juice. veg juices. There's our gas bottles, folks. So we've got another one ready to go there. We have got a job lot of these. We use this all the time now, our little hobs there, as you can see. And all you do to put the gas in these is literally just take the cap off, slide them in, put the lever down in the front, turn it on, and they always start first time. And they are so convenient. We love them. Right, folks, Sharon's just gonna get the gravy made now. Just switch our little stove off. And uh, just enough for me, this one. Don't forget, you can make all the quantities you want. And all that green water, folks. How healthy is that, Sharon? Very, very good. Look at that. Simple gravy granules, folks. That'll do the job for me. And this is just pinged off as well. So let's pull these out. Right, Sharon has been checking them. So let's get that cover off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, folks. So let's stick this in there. There we go, zooming past 75 degrees centigrade, which is what we want, folks. They, my friend, are cooked. Perfect. Always better to let them defrost first, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. Even though some stuff says cook from frozen, but if we do that, you're not cooking it for as long, are you? And that would have been an hour in a conventional oven. Be careful with your hot fingers. I'll put that away. And these are the faggots, folks. I love them, I do. Now, you probably might say that you could just have the gravy there, which is fine. I just like gravy all over my veg as well, you see, so... Uh, so you've got quite a bit of gravy with it, folks, you see, so uh, it might be enough for you, but as I say, I like a bit of extra gravy. Mm. Look at that. So that, folks, is my dinner. Now, one other thing I like to do in all, see that? That's Chef Perks, baby, isn't it? I like to go around the lid, get all them little crusty bits off, and just tuck in. I won't let her throw it away, folks, will I, Chef? No, I know, just to leave it on the side when I do this dinner. Oh. Mm. Right, I like to dress it with some white pepper. Plenty on. A little bit of the old Himalayan pink salt on the veg. And that, my dear friends, is an under two pound meal again. Very, very substantial, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah, if you like that sort of... <coughs> oh. Pepper. I'm gonna hear the peppers done me. <laughs> right, Sharon. There's only one way to do this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going in, people. I don't... No, you don't have to go in, Sharon. No, I'm not going You've got to be invited in, baby. This is my lunch. Uh, I've just... Dinner, I've just made it. So if I wanted to go in, I'd go in. I know, of course you could, Sharon. But you don't, I know you don't like it. No. So I'm gonna go full metal jacket on this one, folks. I'm gonna have a bit of everything. I'm gonna have a little sprig, plenty of gravy, bit of potato on there. It's all there, all well, there for the asking. Look his mouth. Come and hold me, sure, just in case I fall over. Ready? <clears throat> oh, Sharon. It dissolves in your mouth, folks. It's full of flavor. Them faggots, although, although you might be thinking 99 pence, there's plenty of them there and they're pretty substantial as well. Got a plate full of veg, which isn't gonna hurt you. Some lovely creamy mashed potato, not too much, just enough. And I like saturated in gravy. And to be honest with you folks, that is a right winter warmer dish. Which I think you would love. What have you got tonight, baby? Homemade shepherd's pie. That's very nice as well, Which folks. Which I know I love. 
Anyway, don't forget, time to cut back blinking cost of energy nowadays, Sharon. Mm. And this is one of the ways you can fight back by dropping your cost into food. Have something a bit cheaper, but have something which is fully nutritional rather than relying on mass-produced food. All this veg on here is very, very filling. I think you'll enjoy that, folks, if you're a big eater like what I am. Anyway, thanks very much. Don't forget to have a little binge watch of our videos. We've got loads of recipes out there, Sharon. We have. All good home-cooked stuff. Anyway, thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until then... Bye-bye. Bye for now. I'll leave you to do that washing up, Sharon. You can have a little bit around the room I if you want. I want that. Do you want to go around there? I know. See you later, folks. Bye.